girls won't sing No lights go out Them gallows gonna swing There ain't no doubt Them church bells won't ring Okay guys, you gotta ask mom you get caught doing this monster school. Then I will have to we're not gonna get you know guys, I really don't have a good feeling about this. Place. We should turn Just back. Stop. Stop. Act normal. No, we should turn back. You no. should liven up a little. Have some fun in your life. Alright. Hey, sir. I don't see any detergent powder on the shelf. Reckon you got any in the back? I don't know. Let me go take a look for you. Go, go! Oh, man. Candy for days. Answer me. <coughs> we stole it. Why didn't you just ask me for some money? You know I would have given you some. Do you boys think I bust my tail every day so that you boys can grow up to be thieves? No, no ma'am. We're gonna take the candy back to the store and apologize to the owner. And then we're going to church. No, but. Now go get dressed for church. Go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You may be here today and have never asked Jesus Christ into your heart. You also may feel that you aren't worthy or good enough. Truthfully, none of us are. 
but Christ
What is that? That's it. Are you kidding me? What about the safety deposit boxes? We didn't have time. Bobby's right. That was too close in for what? We can't keep laying our lives on the line for these mediocre gigs. I don't want to do this anymore. Really? This is from the guy who yelled, I live for this, like 20 minutes ago? Come on. We had an off day, we'll make it back. I'm done wasting my time. The cost is just too high, I'm not gonna risk losing my brothers. What are we supposed to do for income? This is all we know. Jack is right. For better or for worse, I mean, this is what we do. I'm going to bed. I suggest you two diss the fights. Jack. Jack, get up. Go back to bed, bro. Man, it's James. He left out all early. He's acting shady. He probably just went and get breakfast or something. No, Jack, he... I'm just worried about him. He's fine, Bobby. I'm gonna take your Inspector Gadget self back to bed. Man, shut up, Jack. You idiot. James Jefferson. What's good, my man? How you know, bro? Just trying to stay clean. 
You know I'm working at the bank now. Really? You're working at the bank? <laughs> I'm actually the branch manager for First Step Mortgage. You know, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. What, you trying to offer me a job or something? Sort of. You could say that. Word around town is you and your brothers. You've been doing a lot of heavy hitting lately. Something like that. Okay, well, James, if you're interested, I'm willing to give you everything I have as far as blueprints, logistics, etc. You name it. Really? Yes. All I need is a slice of that healthy donation. And the rest, that's yours. <sighs> James, look. With me on the inside, this is a breeze. You know, Pierre, I appreciate you bringing this to the table and everything, but, uh, you know, you're not exactly uh, a part of our crew anymore. <sighs> okay. So how about this? You go home, you think about it. And if you think this is something you and your brothers are interested in, you come back, you let me know. Oh, by the way, we're talking about $5 million. How do you know that kind of money will be there? <laughs> come on, James. It's me. It'll be there. I need you to trust me. I got to think about this, man. I just told the boys last night that I was done. I can't keep taking these big risks for these small payouts. I'm telling you, man, if we keep going the way we've been going, I'm not going to make it to C-30. So go home. You think about it. Let me know. Yeah. Where you been? I, uh, had a follow-up on some things in town. Oh, yeah? Like what? Don't you know I'm a grown man, boy? If I'm not mistaken, I don't have to tell you every time I gotta go to the bathroom. <sighs> Fun. Boys are done. Let's have some fun.
Good man. Yeah. Yep. Wow. That's some real firepower you boys got there. Pastor Danny. You know, I really don't go by that anymore, Jack. I left the pastorship and decided to broaden my horizon and make sure justice is served. Well, see this how we's all nice and acquainted. What brings you out here, Detective? This is a long way from the city. I figured you would ask that. I guess you boys have heard that there's been a span of robberies in the area. Now, the suspects have consistently been in a group of three. One, two, three. So I thought to myself, self, I'll go pay the Jefferson boys a visit and see what they have to say on the matter. Quite the coincidence, wouldn't you say? And to see you boys possessing military-grade weaponry, it doesn't take long to put two and two together. If you've got something to say, then say it. Otherwise, get off our property. Since I don't have any real evidence to tie you boys to the crime, I can't do anything. But I'll be seeing you boys soon enough. You can count on that. Have a blessed day now you're here. Pastor Danny became an arrogant pig. What do you think makes a pastor go from helping others to chasing law-breaking people? Think it's gonna be a problem? Nah, bro. He's just trying to spook us. I ain't worried about brother Danny. <laughs> Man, I don't know. He isn't like the old graceful Danny we once knew. I think we need to keep our nose clean. Obviously, Professor. You know, Jack, why do you always have to be such a prick? <laughs> I don't know if either of you care, but we need to go check on Mama. Bobby, obviously I care. I've just, uh, I've had a lot on my mind lately. So have I. Y'all just go on without me. Whatever. Boy, it's soft, bro. Brother Danny. I'll be seeing you.
Hey, Mama. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm okay. Hey, oh. honey. Hey, yeah. Mama. Hi, honey. Where's James? Oh, um, he uh, couldn't make it, Mama. He seems to be going through some stuff. But he told us to tell you he loves you. Hmm. Well, okay. Come on in. Can I get you boys something to drink? Uh, nah. Thanks though, Mom. Thanks, Mom. So, um, how's everything been going, Mama? Uh, you know, son. Just getting by. We can, uh, can relate. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Yes, you do, son. Yes, you do. You know, Mama, if you ever need anything, you just let us know and we'll be over right quick. Been through hell raising us, so it's, it's the least we can do. Thank you, Jack. <coughs> Are you okay, Mama? <coughs> Jack, get her some water. Hold on, Mom. We're getting you some water. Okay? <laughs> I'll be okay, baby. I think it's just here. the dust in here getting to me. Drink, Mama, drink. <clears throat> Are you sure you're okay? I'll be fine, baby. Oh, I think I, I think I need to go lay down. Oh, I love you, boys. Please give James my love. Well, we love you too, Mom. <clears throat> love you, Mom. I love you. You boys take care. You too. I don't know. This doesn't seem right. She still won't admit it. You talking about? Oh, admit been... what? Oh, she's been sick. It's fine, it's just, you know, it's, it's dusty in there, that's all. Bro, you know mom keeps one of the cleanest houses in the county. Something's, something's wrong with her. She won't tell any of us what it is. How was mom? Not really the best, bro. 
Yeah, I um found um uh, found this on the kitchen counter. A foreclosure? Jack, why didn't you say something? Bobby, I don't want Mama to know that we know. Okay? You know, I know I said uh, no more jobs, but this definitely changes things. We can't just stand by and watch this happen. I agree. I'll ride over tomorrow and talk to mom alone. You know, maybe she'll open up to me. We need to know how bad this is. Yeah. You're right. I'll ride over tomorrow and see what's up. Okay. Let's go, Bobby. Come, let's go. <sighs> Shut the door. This isn't exactly a random visit. What do you mean? You know, uh, I just don't understand. Why didn't you tell us? I wanted to. It's not your responsibility, son, and I don't intend to change that. <laughs> I'm sick, son. That's why I can't work. Sick how? There's no easy way to say it. Lupus. No. You should just get a second opinion or something. I have, and there's meds that they can give me for treatment, but they're very expensive given that I can't afford insurance. Between the medical bills and not being able to work, I've just not been able to make ends meet. No, Mom. I'm sorry. I've not been the son I should have been. James, honey, don't beat yourself up like that. These things happen. There's nothing you could have done. Let me talk to Jack and Bobby and see what we can do financially. No. No, I'm asking you, don't say a word to them. It'll crush them. Please don't say anything to them. Fun. I get it. But mom, we have to protect the ones we love. Right? I'm gonna head out. I love you. I love you, son.
So, what made you change your mind? Circumstances have changed. That's all you need to know. All right. That works for me. So when do we hit? Two weeks from today. 9 a.m. sharp. We only got a 30 minute window with no alarms or security. Here's everything I have right here. So. You know, out of curiosity, how'd you manage to pull that off? You just let me worry about that. You and your brothers, you will come in, make a couple of statements. I heard you guys got a thing for theatrics. Something like that. All right, well, you'll be in and out before the police even knows what's happening. Clean and easy. You and I both know there's nothing clean and easy about a bank heist. Well, this one is, James. I need you to trust me. Look, I'm going to have the key to the safe on me. But I need you to provide a solid performance to ensure that my alibi is legit for this stick up. I don't need to be tied to this in any way. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I got you. Good. Then I believe our discussion here is finished. Two weeks from today, 9 a.m., sharp. Yeah, I got it. Mr. Jefferson, it's good to see you. You know, I uh, I can't help but wonder why I keep having my presence blessed with the former almighty reverend. You following me? <laughs> nah, brother. A man's got to eat, right? Yeah, man's got to eat, brother. Well, you take care now, you hear? I'll be seeing you real soon. Hey, Danny. I'll be looking forward to it. Y'all boys give me a hand with this. Got us a job, fellas. Yeah, what kind of job? Kind we're good at. Now we're talking. Yeah, what about being done with this life? I was just blowing off steam when I said that. Besides, I could use extra money. Man, the time and place, brother. Two weeks from today, we move in on First Step Mortgage. 9 a.m. sharp. First Step Mortgage? James, I don't know. I just don't feel right about this. I see. Does $5 million feel right? Five million? Wait, what did you say? You know what you are? 
You're a genius. <laughs> we'll move into the bank as usual and make a statement. I want these bank employees and patrons to know that we're not your typical bank robbers. I love it. So Bobby, if you want out, now's the time. No. I'm in. I thought so. What about security? Actually, that's been taken care of. We have a guy on the inside willing to play ball, so we're gonna have a 30 minute window with no alarms or security. The vault key will be on the branch manager, which is on our side, so this should be clean and easy. Right. At any point, though, we feel threatened. We have to take precautions to assure that our identity is not compromised for the heist. Any questions? Yeah. What about Pastor? I mean, Detective Danny, isn't he gonna be an issue? I ain't worried about the hypocritical prick, none of us should be. By the way, uh, I think you boys should go see Mama when you get a chance. Why, what's up? You know, she's just going through a challenging time with the foreclosure and everything, and I think she could use the love. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to talk to her. Well, Bobby, I did, and that just doesn't make people's problems just magically disappear. <laughs> you know what? You sound just like Daddy used to, except without hope and optimism. Don't you ever compare me to him. Or what, James? You gonna hit me for talking smack to you? If you just look in the mirror for one second, you'd see it. Don't feel right about this. This five million dollars feel right. You boys think I bust my tail every day so that you boys can grow up to be thieves? We can't just stand by and watch this happen. I agree. So Bobby, if you want out, now's the time. No. I'm in. Not thought so. What I want us to do this weekend is look at how to overcome the six weapons of self-destruction. Now, you, you've heard of the weapons of mass destruction, but I want to talk to you about what the Bible teaches about the weapons of self-destruction. There are things that you do to yourself all the time that damage you, that hurt you, that, that cause you to self-destruct, that cause you enormous stress, enormous pain, uh, enormous uh, uh, unhappiness, and uh, unneeded pressure in your life. And then I'm going to show you from God's Word in Romans chapter 8 how the Bible tells us that the Spirit of God living within you can give you the antidote to every one of these weapons.
body. Mr. Danny? I didn't realize you still went here. Yeah, well, when I left the pool pit, I decided to stay on as a deacon. Haven't seen you around here in some years, son. Everything okay? Yeah, I just have a lot on my mind. Well, if you ever need anyone to talk to or want to vent, here's my card. Give me a call. Sure. Thanks. I'll see you. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. What's going on, James? Where you been? I went to church. <laughs> you know, you can laugh all you want, but my mind's not right. I feel guilty about everything we've ever done. I sat in the back of that church and I wept. Why do you think that that is? Yeah, I don't think I'm the uh, right person to be talking to about this. I don't know what you think. Honestly? Honestly. I think you're weak. You know, the past few months, you've been acting like a different person. Like something's changing on the inside. But who knows? Maybe you're our guardian angel here to purge us from all unrighteousness. Look, I'm sorry. You know, all of us are just in a different walk of life and just because I can't personally relate to you on your latest encounter doesn't mean it wasn't significant to you. I need to respect that, despite what I believe. I love you, bro. Thanks, James. Now what you say we go shoot some pool? I'm down for that.
I ran into Detective Danny today at church. And what did he say? He just gave me his business card. He told me to call him if I ever needed to talk. Bobby, you do realize that if you said anything even slightly out of the way, you could have ruined this entire upcoming operation. James, I didn't say anything wrong. I swear. I don't want to see you at that church again. But James, ever. I... All right. Good. Let's go home. I believe you've done enough. What are you doing? Get up! I ain't talking to me like a dog. Since when do you drink? Last time I checked, I didn't have to answer you. James! James, stop! Last time I checked, we found our father face down in a puddle of his own piss. He died because he was an alcoholic. Remember? Yeah, you were there too. Do you want to end up like him? We're going to scout the bank in the morning. Sober or not, I suggest you be ready. Now get rid of that! This time tomorrow, we'll have a 30 minute window with no alarms or bank security. But if we ain't out of there in five minutes or less, our cover will be blown. We can't count on not dealing with interference. What are you saying? I'm saying that uh, there can be no mistakes. Bobby will park in a regular parking spot to avoid suspicion. At that point, we take the bank with no mercy. <laughs> So we're, we're really doing this. We have to, for the sake of this family. Let's do it.
you taking out? right here for you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. You have a good day. Thank you. Everybody get down on the ground now! Go move! I said, go move! Get down! Get down! Go to the bar! Listen up! Don't be stupid, and nobody will get hurt. We're here for what's in the vault. We get that, we'll be out of y'all's hair. Is that clear? Is that clear? <laughs> yeah. Cell phones in the bag. Cell phones. Give me a phone. Give me a phone. Give me a phone. Where's the manager? Mr. Manager, come with me, now! Okay. Go. Boys, start tying people up! Get up! Let's go! Come on, let's go! Go! Sorry. Where's the key? It's right here. Here, take it. Please, just, just don't hurt me. Open it up. All right. All right, now move, back away. Bag it up. Let's move in. And remember, the suspects are armed and dangerous, so no mistakes. I need for you to use extreme caution. Yes, sir. on the inside, including your undercover. It's going to be a long day. The only one of the person knew we were hitting the bank. And it seems very ironic they would show up here now. What did you do? I had nothing to do with this, I swear. I didn't do anything. Give me your phone. Who have a phone? Give me your phone. Why? Frank. No more lies. What did you 
do? I cut a deal. So sorry. I could have risked losing my family. Big mistake. We don't have, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. All right, you, you don't have to do this. Give them your knees. No, let's think about this. We can talk about this. Please. Please. Shut up. Someone get me a visual. We need to see what's going on in there. What do you want to do, sir? Somebody get me a phone. Now, we have an informant in there. Yes. Why are you doing this? You tried to use an ex-colleague against me. And a narc at that. What did you think was gonna happen? His blood is on your hands. Detective. I'll be in touch. James! He killed him! James, what are we gonna do? Uh, I mean, it seems like we're definitely going to prison for this. Shut up! You know, I got just about enough of your wine. What are you gonna do, Jack? Stop it, both of you, that's enough! Now, Bobby, get in there and watch them. What are we gonna do with him, bro? Bobby's gonna get us killed. Yeah, well, I agree, but there's not much we can do about it at the present. If we get out of this, we'll take care of Mr. Bleeding Heart. That's so what we're gonna do. We wait this out. We convince the precinct to do what we ask. They need to know we're not messing around. It's me, Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. I can't believe it. What happened to you? Why are you doing this? This is all, this is all I know. You were raised. You are better than this. You know, uh, you did always try to see the best in others. You know, I, um, I recently visited our old church. And uh, all I could do was cry as my sins are brought before my eyes. Do you think you could pray for me? Yeah, of course. What if your brothers walk in? Are you crazy? They will kill us. All I know is that right now, this is between you, me, and God. Lord, I come before you right now as a servant of your kingdom. I lift up Bobby Jefferson to you, and I ask that you transform his life and bring him back to you. Reveal your unconditional love to him, Father. Also, I ask that you get us all out of here safely. May your will be done, Lord.
In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I knew we couldn't leave you alone in here. <laughs> really? Jack, you leave her out of this! Well, brother, she involved herself the moment she decided to impose her religious gestures on you. Sir, it's because of you. I'm inclined to believe you, detective. Lay the weapon on the ground. Stand up. Keep your hands above your head. Take three steps forward. But Christ died so that we would no longer be slaves to sin. He abolished death by the shedding of his blood. Lower your head. 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 Lower your head.
yourself slowly to the ground. Do not move. Why did you do it, Simon? Do you have a family, Danny? I do. I have a wife and three. I have a wife and two sons. My oldest died a few years ago, killed by a drunk driver. I became so bitter. It seemed so senseless. That's why I left the pastorship. How about your mother? She passed away years ago from cancer. I'm sorry. There's not a day that goes by that I don't miss my mother. Son, there's not a circumstance in this world that gives you the right to kill, steal, and destroy. So, now what do you do? How can you help your mother in here? There's consequences for every choice that we make, good or bad. By the way, you have a visitor. What have you done? I'm sorry. <laughs> All I ever wanted to do was help. I messed up.
I love you, son. And whether you believe it or not, God can forgive you for your wrongdoings. Look at Paul. The majority of the New Testament was written by a man who persecuted and killed the early Christians. But God takes broken people and he uses their intricate stories to glorify his kingdom. All of sin, James, all have fallen short from God's glorious standard. Sometimes God allows drastic things to happen to bring us to redemption. You remember that.
said you'd over get away But there'll be hell to pay Trouble always ends that way All you can do no wrong When your mind is half gone or dead She won't be long Them angels won't sing Your lights go out Them gallows gonna swing There ain't no doubt Them church bells won't ring When the bottom drops out Them shackles gonna cling You sway Wind Wanna blow your dust away 